was back there, and you were like, we're honoring one person, and I'm listening intently. I'm like, who are they honoring today? And then it was me. That's really sweet. This is, what a lovely time already. I <laughs> thank you for saying that. And it's true. That's the perfect way to start out. Yeah. Although, is it true that we ran into each other somewhere once? So I think we did. Um, one time I was hiking, and then you had a, do you have a dog? Douglas? <laughs> oh, that's him. <laughs> Douglas? Douglas, come here. <laughs> and, and, and make it look like oh, you don't. Douglas. That you're, you, you take your time, sweetheart, on that walk. Doug? Was it him? How old is Douglas? 14. I think it might have been him. Um, but it was my husband, he, he stopped and pet your dog. I think it was him. And then I was like, he doesn't know what anyone looks like. And um, I'm like, I'm pretty sure that was Drew Barrymore. How long ago was it? Four years ago? Five years ago? I'm just going to say yes. Me too. I always believed it was you. The woman was very nice, even if she wasn't you. Good. And so for me, I just took that as I had a great interaction with Drew Barrymore. And um, so, yeah, it was great. You were nice. You were lovely. Thank God. <laughs> you were so nice. I, I don't understand rude yeah. people. I really can't yeah. fathom it. And yeah. I never have. And I never will. And that's OK. I don't think you have that bone in your body. Exactly. You that's it. That. I yeah. don't have that bone in my body. And I have yeah. many bones. Yeah, me too. I love I a good a bone. bone. Me too. But I don't, have, I don't have the rude one either. Sometimes I try to. I don't, I don't want to have it. But I, I think, you know, is that a power I want for a day? No. But I just think it's interesting that I don't have that bone. Can I ask about another bone you might possess? Mm -hmm. Is it the bone of confidence? Yeah, I got that bone. Okay. <laughs> I love I that so much. I do have that bone. May I ask you, mm -hmm. how do you stay consistent in your confidence? And if you're having a day mm -hmm. where somehow the negative forces are coming at you, what is something you do? Wow, interesting. Because what I feel like. Yesterday was one of those days where negative forces were coming in. And I think, one, it's knowing that, knowing, identifying it as yes. such so you know how to combat it. Um, and I really lean into the people who love me, who I love, people that I trust. I was having, like, a negative thought yesterday. And I was actually with Sterling K. Brown. Oh, my and God, I, I love him so much. And I just said, you know, Sterling's someone I trust. He's someone who has shown me nothing but love and, and, and graciousness and gratitude and room in this industry and vice versa. You know, I mean, I, I really appreciate him. And I went up to him and I said, hey, Sterling, this is something that is in my brain. That's 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 crazy. Right. And, he, you know, I told him the thought and he was like, that's not true. It's just not true. It's not a true thing. It's not real. This is real right here. And I think that's important, having the people around you that actually know you, that see reality for what it is. Um, and I guess besides that, I told myself in the mirror that I love myself and I like myself. I do. I really do. I really do. It seems corny. It seems really corny, but it helped me out of a bad way one time. I also had a really bad breakup. And that breakup, it almost broke me to just pieces. And I think after you rebuild yourself, it feels harder to get broken down again. So it's the one thing I give my ex. I'm like, thanks for breaking my heart that bad because came back strong, baby. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. Yeah. And we don't really, I believe, and I could be so wrong about yeah. this, but I, I really believe we learn through living. Yeah. And Absolutely. living is risky yeah. and messy and yeah. beautiful and worth it. Yeah. I invested in a, a therapist, not money-wise, but just like it's a time investment. It's a, it's a commitment um, last year. And that was really important for me. I kind of, for a while, I, I was an advocate of therapy. I supported it. I had friends who had had wonderful experiences in therapy, but I never had one for myself. And I was like, I'm pretty... My mind's pretty on point, but it wasn't about that. Um, I now consider it like the tune-up I need to make sure my mind stays on point. You know, I have a lot going on, so just it's like a car. Like, yeah, my car's running well, but you know, you should get it checked on because, um, you know, if it falls apart, that's not cute. I've never mm -hmm. in my life mm -hmm. 
been so excited about the places I'm getting to mentally. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. like I feel like I'm a runner, yeah. but it's up here. Yeah, it's great. It's a really beautiful feeling. It's a beautiful feeling. It's really cool. It is.